Hello, and thank you for joining us for guidance on how to fill out the CTA ABC Chapter Pack applications. My name is Wendy Eccles, CTA Committee Member District K and Chair of the Committee, and I have with me today Ed De La Vega, representing District H, and Myra Alvarado, representing District C. So today what we're doing is we're going to give you an overview of what ABC does and the available tools and resources available through CTA. So resources can be found by Googling the CTA ABC, which will take you to our CTA ABC page. Or you can go to cta.org and click on Leader Resources and go to Form Center. Scroll down to the bottom and you see where it says CTA ABC Forms. What we have there as far as resources go are the calendar and application deadlines, and this would be when our committee meets and when applications must be submitted in order to be considered at our meeting. We also have information on how to contact your CTA ABC committee member, and that would be based on your directorial district, or you can send information or follow up through uh, the phone number listed on the website here. So as you go through the application process, you can see where it says to request funds for your local PAC, and you can open that link. And the first thing you should do is look at that local president checklist and submitting a request for CTA ABC funding. Why that's really important is because there may be some questions that you didn't know you had. And by using that checklist, um, it will help you to go through the process. Please remember that your CTA ABC committee member is available to work with you, as is your regional political organizer and your CTA board member. We're all part of the same team and we're here to explain to you and find answers to your questions. The next step is to review the funding formula. On a chapter PAC grant, PACs are based on the application types formula. We have several different types of applications and it depends on if you have an at-large, if you have a by trustee area and the funding will also de depend on the number of chapter members you have, number of registered voters, and how many candidates you will be running. The candidate that you have endorsed must have raised at least the amount equal to the base grant. In other words, CTA ABC cannot fund more than 50% of your total campaign costs. So as you can see here on step three, you have three different types of applications. You have the K-12, the community college, and the county app. There are separate videos to show you how to fill out the community college and the county application. So please make sure to click on the appropriate form based on the needs of your chapter. So moving ahead, part of the things that you must also include in your CTA ABC application is a campaign plan. Um, for what you plan on doing during this cycle, as well as the last two FPPC filings that your chapter has completed. The filing deadlines are usually on a December 31st and June 30th basis, so those would be the last two filings you would have. Additionally, you can use this optional campaign plan template to help you through that process. So let's go based on to our applications. So depending on your district, you will select the appropriate type of application. Again, for our purposes, we're going to click on the K-12 application. There are some pieces of information that you will need to have on the application in order to complete it. First of all, you need to make sure you have your chapter name and a physical address. Additionally, you need to have the name of your chapter pack, provide that FPPC ID number, and the actual physical address for the pack. It's important to note that no CTA ABC money can be sent to a post office box. Information should also include your chapter president, your chapter PAC chair, your chapter PAC treasurer, also your primary contacts staff, your CTA regional political organizer, and your CTA board member. Please make sure to identify whether you are a unified high school or elementary district, and then you can also state some of the reasons you're going to be applying for the CTA ABC funding. As we move along on the application, here are some of the important things you must have in order for us to consider it. We need to have the name of the candidates or the issue that you would be bringing forward and the county of the election. 
and your chapter needs to have formally endorsed, and that would be through whatever your chapter practices are, but usually that would be um, an approval through your representative council or House of Representatives. For your campaign, we want to know what the trustee areas look like, what your school board looks like, and then more importantly, what you're going to need to know, because this determines the funding formula, is it in an election at large, meaning that everybody in the district votes for all of the candidates, or is an election by a district or trustee area? The form funding formulas are different based on whether or not it's an at-large election or a trustee area. As you can see there, um, if you choose the election by district or area, you need to list the candidate and the trustee area, and then you will need to determine the voters for that particular trustee area only. The information on how to do that is actually um, back on the form center. And you can scroll down to resources, and that link there will help you find the number of registered voters based on your trustee area. So going back to the application, as you scroll down, you will use the number of voters in your district. You'll need to know your number of chapter members, which you can get from My Falcon CTA 360, or you can reach out to your primary contact staff or your regional political organizer to determine the number of chapter members. As you scroll down, you can see the other boxes you would need to check. So the biggest issue is the funding formula and how the money is generated. We have two different formulas, and it's based on whether it's an at-large or a trustee area election. If it's an at-large election, it's based on the entire voter universe for that district. And so it would be the number of voters times 0 0.028 plus the number of chapter members. And then you would multiply that by the number of candidates. If it's a trustee area, you're going to calculate per trustee area. And it would be the number of voters in that trustee area times 0 0.032 plus the number of chapter members. What you would do is, again, calculate by trustee area and then add all of those numbers up. Please make sure that you're going ahead and looking through the rest of it. Make sure that you know if there's a local contribution limit, um, if uh, how much your chapter plans on um, contributing to the campaign, how much your annual PAC revenue, and what's your annual contribution per member. As we scroll down to the next page, one of the most important things we need to do is to make sure, going to the following page, is you need to make sure you also include a campaign budget. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and hand that over to Ed De La Vega to talk about issues and funding. If this application is for an issue, such as a bond or parcel tax, you will refer to the chart on the funding formula document, which is based on the number of members in your chapter and the type of issue you are running. For example, if you have 500 members and are running a parcel tax, you are eligible for $1,125. Please complete all the questions and answer questions asking about your PAC's contribution, PAC balance and revenue, additional money from other sources, and the total budget for the campaign as accurately as possible. They will help determine how much CTA ABC is actually able to contribute, especially if you later ask for a special circumstance grant. Side note, if there is a local contribution limit, CTA ABC cannot contribute above that amount. If the candidate is not accepting contributions in order to avoid filling FPPC forms, CTA ABC should not be contributing to that candidate. You must receive approval from three people, your chapter president, CTA ABC member, and board member. Waiting for approval from these members will hold up your check. The budget form is required with the application. It will calculate totals for you based on your entries. All money budgeted from your local PAC will be entered on the left column. All money anticipated and budgeted from the money you receive from CTA ABC will go in the middle column. If you need help with the application or the budget form, please contact your political organizer or CTA ABC member. ABC receives hundreds of apps during the September and October meetings, and we want to make sure that you are able to receive your contribution in time to be helpful for your election. 
Be sure to add your campaign plan and FPPC forms and send your application to your ABC member to review. If you completed a community college pack application, send it to the district Q member. Your ABC member may have additional questions. They will be presenting your application during the next CTA ABC meeting and may receive concerns from other community members. Please note, if you apply for CTABC funds and your candidate is uncontested, you must return the contribution to ABC. For a more in-depth video on issues, there is a training video for that. Now I will turn it over to Mayra Alvarado for the next steps. My name is Mayra Alvarado and I represent District C. And I'll be going over some next steps. If you have funding from a local PAC and can demonstrate an extraordinary condition or situation, you may also submit an application for a special circumstances grant or the special circumstances grant for the County Board of Education. You can find these forms in the Form Center and there is also a training video for these grants. After you submit your application, Governmental Relations will let you know if there are any inaccuracies or missing information. We must receive the correct or missing information before the meeting date for the application to be considered. After the committee approves your application, they make the recommendation to the CTA Board of Directors. Once the board approves, Governmental Relations works to get checks processed and sent out. After your election, you have 100 days to submit your evaluation form based on your application type. These forms are also located in the form center. The evaluation form is required and could affect future funding if not submitted. Here you will find the PAC election evaluation form, candidate direct contribution evaluation form, issue, and the issues direct contribution evaluation form. Also, if you scroll down, you will find some resources like the uh, website to find the number of registered voters, how to contact your county elections office, campaign forms, campaign finance data. You could also find your chapter members on CTA 360. Find the members that work in your county by contacting the regional po political organizer. And you could also find the number for go governmental relations as well as the CTA controller's office. So here are some reminders again as you go through the CTA ABC application process. Number one, always keep your CTA ABC committee member, regional political organizer, and CTA board member in the loop. We are a team and we are all here to help you and support you in your election. You must have a physical address to have a check sent. It cannot go to a post office box. Please make sure that you are using the correct form based on the type of application that you're asking for, whether it's a K-12, community college, or multi-chapter county PAC. Additionally, make sure if it's an issue or bond parcel tax versus a candidate PAC. If the candidate is not accepting contributions to avoid filing a Form 460, which means it's under $2,000, you do need to know that. If there is a local contribution limit, CTA ABC cannot fund over that amount. Your regional political organizer would have that information. For county races, CTA procedures require that all locals within the county have had an opportunity to weigh in on the recommendation of the candidate. That means that all chapters must be contacted and given the opportunity to be a part of the process. New local PACs must provide a statement of organization to be considered for funding. Local PACs must either be formed as a county or city PAC, not a state PAC. And local PACs cannot make direct contributions with CTA ABC PAC funds to other CTA affiliated PACs, candidates, central committees, or labor councils. You will notice on the budget form that there is one spot grayed out on the CTA ABC portion of the budget. And so CTA ABC money cannot be used to pass through to direct contributions. With that, we wish you good luck on your campaigns. And remember, CTA ABC is here to help you.